this is Phil Johnson with hands on lab 12.1 standard IP access list so what we're going to do is we're basically going to go into our LE router right here All right so we have to just click on the LE router right here and then we're going to basically I'm already in there right now but they want you to configure terminal and then we're going to type in access list question mark and it gives us every kind of access list we can do a standard one or an extended one and that's the range with the numbers you can put for it now let's go ahead and permit our networks up above so the first network we're going to be Permitting is the 20.2, which is right here. Okay, I went ahead and labeled that. So from our LA router right here, we're going to do our access list 10. Permit 192.168.20.2. And I pressed enter too soon. We actually want to. Put our own custom wildcard mask on this one. Should basically make a default gateway here, or like a basically one specific IP route. And then we're gonna go into our interface F0 slash zero. On these, I I don't have the fast either. It's interface G0 slash 0. And then in here, we're going to do IP access group 10 out. And we're going to do end. And in here, we're going to do show access list. And there it goes. And our next part we're going to do is show run. And then you'll see on our show run, basically our gigabit ethernet is right here. IP access group 10 out. And I need to go ahead and put an IP address in there too. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. And so we're going to put IP address. 192.168.20.1 with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0 basically a class C address and then they want us to go ahead and ping between some different interfaces here so basically we want to go between each one here I ended up doing um, a ping between the networks. They wanted us to go from PC0 to PC1 and try to ping it. And it says it should fail. So we're going to go on to our next activity. So it's hands on lab 12.2 extended IP access list. So on our San Francisco router, we're going to be, so we're going to exit out of here. And basically in our configure terminal we're going to do access list 110 deny space question mark and it's showing us what options that we have available which you don't have as many options with packet tracer as you do um, on a regular router and then they also want us to do access list 110 deny TCP question mark and we can see all the commands in there so they want a source address or basically a source any source host if we want to put any in there or a single source host and of course we're going to do a single source host so it's going to be 182.168.10.2 and then the word host or you can do 
basically um, like your class C B, you know, subnet mask, where you would put something like 255.255.255 or something like that. But that host basically represents your subnet mask. So you're basically doing a default route. All right, so and then it's going to be 172.16.10.6. They want us to put space question mark. And for some reason, oh, I forgot to put one thing in here. Let's see, actually, I got that. I thought I missed something. So we also, right here, forgot the host. So there we go. And then we could put a question mark right at the end. And because I didn't complete the command, I was going to say no on that. And then we'll go back here. And then this time, I'm going to put in our EQ telnet log. If you notice, it won't let us do the telnet log. So as far as I can go, is just doing telnet. And then our next step would be our access. There we go. We'll put uh, our access list 110 permit. And then from here, we're going to do IP. Just gonna do any. This is gonna be zero dot zero dot zero dot zero. And instead of having all this, we're just gonna have two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot two five five. So it basically means permit anything to go through. Then I'm going to go into our interface G0 slash 0. And we're going to put IP access group 110N. So this is where that access list is going to be put on the, basically on the port that's coming into the router. And in this case, it'd be this one right here. Now, if they had us put some other commands in these routers um, what's supposed to be happening is basically if the routing's working correctly is you're supposed to be able to ping so we're supposed to basically be able to ping this guy right here but um, but if we try to telnet it won't let us telnet into here so um Let's go ahead and try ping 192.168.10.2. So nothing would ping through. And because I'm Packet Tracer, we can't do a log file. Even if we were to make this work. Um, it would basically show us there's some denying of the TCP for us trying to ping. And that's the end of that, uh, that workshop.